Hello there, this is Michelle Knight and this is your January monthly overview. Sorry they're late, I'm still ill. It really is a pain now. I am on the mend, but I would imagine it's probably be another two weeks until you see my face. In the meantime, we get Kathy making these lovely films for you, so I hope you understand. But this month is a big one. We have a full moon in Cancer. We have Venus entering Aquarius. We have Mercury going retrograde. And we have a fixed Grand Cross, which is making us all look at our dreams and how we sabotage them. Here is your monthly astrology. Sagittarius, this month brings you a host of opportunities to communicate your ideas and to put it right out there. Often you can get caught up with having so many ideas at once and this month is no different, but you have the opportunity to draw people in like a magnet. So make sure that you do something with them. Also, when it comes to love, you may find yourself chatting, communicating, emailing, having intense communication with someone and it's just like you're exactly on the same wavelength. Be careful though, because it could just be an intellectual attraction. If you're internet dating, for instance, make sure that it's not just ideas you've got in common, because actually, really it's all about chemistry and we can't necessarily pick that up just over the written word. Having said that, I don't want to put a dampener on anything because you are feeling buoyant and excited about life. Mercury, the planet of communication, is stretching you not only with ideas, but you want to travel, you want to see the world, you want to get out and about. Make sure whatever you're doing and whatever you're communicating gets sorted out before Mercury goes retrograde on the 21st. It's very important that you take advantage of all this fantastic energy, which could deliver a career break or some fantastic new opportunity where you get to put your ideas into action. Now on the fifth, there's a full moon, which is making you feel a little bit vulnerable. You might be processing some intense emotions from 2014. You might be feeling things really intensely. Be careful the fact that you're not jealous or out of control emotionally, but it could just be the full moon stirring up your unconscious. And really it's just saying to you, sometimes you need to process your emotions more regularly. Perhaps keep a journal, perhaps just sit and do some mindfulness meditation so that you're aware of your vulnerability and your feelings. Because you're such a dynamic creature, often you go running from pillar to post, experiencing life and not really understanding if you've been hurt or engaging in your deeper emotions. This full moon is really pushing that button and bringing them all up at once. But it's also giving you great insight and psychic intuition into situations about power and powerlessness. Now on the 12th, Mars enters your position of home and family and you're wanting to create security for yourself, but also you've got great idea on how to do it. And you may find yourself doing a DIY project or moving or, or just creating some passion into your space. On the 15th, there is a fixed grand cross, which is making you think about your intuition and things that have been hidden from you emotionally and where you want to go. Have you been holding yourself back in some way or perhaps a relationship's been holding you back from doing what you want to do? This year is all about finding balance. Unlike the cardinal grand crosses of last year, the fixed grand cross shows us, shows us that actually we have the power to change our reality. A new supermoon on the 20th is great because again, it's all about a new beginning. And this new beginning is about you communicating. And again, not just communicating those fabulous ideas, but putting them into action, treating your ideas in a different and fresh way. On the 27th, Venus, the planet of love, is making you want to coochie up with someone, with your family, with your friends, and it's gonna take some downtime to explore your emotions and to nurture yourself in the wings of love. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.
I've got loads more free astrology on my website and lots of other free readings. www.michellenight.com. I'll see you there.